Ron Paul. I am the champion of the Constitution. Our campaign is all about freedom, prosperity, and peace. The Constitution was written very precisely to restrain the power and force of government and to protect the liberties of each and every one of us. Mr. Speaker, the uh, Federal Reserve is the culprit. It has delivered this crisis to us. The Federal Reserve's low interest rate policy is a big mistake. It is not a panacea. Artificially low interest rates are achieved by inflating the money supply. Low interest rates penalize the thrifty and those who save are cheated. It promotes consumption and borrowing over savings and investing. be a bad dream or a nightmare? Is it my imagination or have we lost our minds? It's surreal. It's just not believable. A grand absurdity, a great deception, a delusion of momentous proportion. Based on preposterous notions and on ideas whose time should never have come. Simplicity, grossly distorted and complicated. Insanity passed off as logic. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well funded. What did Iraq have to do with what? Nothing. This was the moment when the rise of the ocean began to slow and our planet began to heal. I will promise you this, that if we have not gotten our troops out by the time I am president, it is the first thing I will do. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. You can take that to the bank. Just one month after 9-11, Paul introduced the Mark and Reprisal Act of 2001, legislation that would have allowed Congress and the President to specifically target bin Laden and his associates by placing a bounty on al-Qaeda leaders. Paul said the act, quote, allows Congress to narrowly target terrorist enemies, lessening the likelihood of a full-scale war with any Middle Eastern nation. The act also threatens terrorist cells worldwide by making it more difficult for our enemies to simply slip back into civilian populations or hide in remote locations. Once letters of mark and reprisal are issued, every terrorist is essentially a marked man. 